Fraps. Hello? Yeah, I wonder if you could help me. I've got a problem with my Gogo Mobile. Gogo Mobile? Yeah, I've got a problem with my Gogo Mobile, and I was wondering if. G O G G O. I've got a problem with my Gogo Mobile. 1954? Yeah? No, not the dart. Not the dart. I always think it's the dark. It's a wee ripper. I tell you, I get you. If you have a car that's a bit unusual, you could find insurance hard to come by. But at Shannon's, we know what they are, even Gogomobiles. It's the dark. And we know what they're worth. A pretty penny. Shannon's Insurance shares the passion with car enthusiasts. I and they give agreed value, choice of repairer, lifetime maximum, no claim bonus protection. So call Shannon's for a special quote on your special vehicle. 1300139006. I was 16 when I first saw her. Loved her utterly. She was so sweet, so perfect, still is. She's got a whopping great two-stroke engine under that gorgeous aerodynamic body. Insurance? Well, Shannon's, of course. No one knows your passion like Shannon's. And with our multi-vehicle discount, you can even cover your daily drive. So call Shannon's on 13 46 46. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Is wanting fresh meat taste, but in the more convenience? Is wanting done, daily, supreme. It's carb fresh. It's dawn, it's good. Wanting taste sensation that's really new. Don Cheese Kransky is thing for you. Continental sausage with cheese in it. It's so much flavor, it has no limit. Go out and buy some. You really should, because you know very well it's gone. It's excellent. It's good. Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> it's hot dog season. It's wanting Don skinless frankfurts. It's Australia's top dog. <laughs> Sorry. It's Australia's top hot dog. His dog is good. His Don is good. <clears throat> His dog is good, too. Is Don Strasbourg is made old-fashioned way for genuine truths in the delicious taste. Is to be aware of cheap imitatings. Is Don is good. He's pleased to be introducing two new taste sensations from Don. Hello, it's tasty tomato frankfurt with real tomato. Hello, it's tasty cheese frankfurt with real cheese. It's pleased to be too. It's pleased to be too too. Is Don is good. Dawn, white Hungarian salami, is authentical entertaining solution for everyone to enjoyment because he's not hot. He's mild. It's done. It's good. <clears throat> Ladies, I want to introduce you to our new relieving officer, Mr. Stewart. And what's your specialty, Mr. Stewart? Whips, thumbnails, or leather boots? Don't get smart, lassie, and there'll be no hassles. <laughs> oh, hi, George. <laughs> get right away. That's enough, Gilmore. <laughs> right, you ready for the rest of the tour? Shaving a Scotch pig. Oh, he's an a temporary. Long as he behaves himself. Why don't you steal a wee wheel? <laughs> what we have to do is open up lines of communication between Dorian and Kevin. Oh, that's not going to be easy, P. That bagpipe blowing heathen, he's got all the gates locked. Well, there must be a way. The camels are coming. There's going to be war. <laughs> Come on, we've got things to do. Oh, good day. 
the small world, is that right? Get out of this car before I scream my lungs out. Oh, I don't think you do that, does it? I mean, uh, I'm not causing any harm. Just a passenger. Just want to bid your time, that's all. You can even start the, uh, you need to go on if you want. Just say what you have to say and get out. It's good thinking, Brian. Just hear me out and be no trouble. You see, I've been having a pretty hard time since I came out of Pendridge. Very difficult making ends meet. It's your fault, isn't it? I don't see it that way, I I think it's your fault. You see, you know, it is. I'm going to give you a chance just to make amends. Really? You can't get blood out of a stone, can you? Don't treat me like a fool, man. I don't like it. I just lose my temper. You've got a daughter, haven't you? She just married a nice, upright young man. His uncle just happens to be a pretty well-heeled man of property. And we're coming through. Why do you have to drag Arch and Jeff into this? The reason why I want to drag them in is that, um, I need a wee loan, say, about, uh, $5,000. Just to get me started off afresh. I think you can convince Uncle Arch to help you out there, don't you? You get out of this car before I call the cops. You think I was born yesterday? $5,000 would only just be a down payment. You're smart, right? You always were. That's how I know you'll get that money for me. Otherwise, I'll tell that wee daughter of yours and her husband. Her mother used to work for me in the massage parlor. Turning tricks at $20 a throw. Buying flat in your bank. She never believed you, you bastard. Why shouldn't she? It's the truth. They can check up with the police files. It's all there. Well, not all. There's a, a few nasty details that they don't even know about. But I remember them. Plus a few more stories. That would really make that wee girl of yours hair curl. You don't care who you hurt, do you? Get up with me first, boy. That's the law of the jungle. Still, you're uh, Your daughter doesn't have to know that her mother was a prostitute. That's for you to decide. You just think it over, Lassie. I'll be in touch real soon. You see, my father owned a shop in the 60s and he had the first wood fire oven in Australia. Unfortunately, Dad didn't really know how to use the oven. And while he was making a Mexican pizza, the oven exploded and I got hot chili sauce all over my face and burn out my retinas. I was only five at the time. Dad was killed. Mr. Fong? That's right. Oh, it's a long story. Right. Uh, we want to find out what you know about a greyhound called Mildura Lass. Oh, good dog. Yeah, well, at least she used to be. Yeah, she'd be out in that box like a shot at my gun. All the other dogs were just left standing there. No, she couldn't run out of sight the foggy night. But that's good news for you, though, isn't it? Well, it's, um, it swings and roundabouts. I mean, there's always somebody who wants to bet on an outsider, just a chance that it might come in. Listen, Ben, I think this is your show, isn't it? That's right. Hey, make that a double scotch, no ice. Thanks, love. So, any big bets in its last race? I had some of the bookies at Ballarat were laying off some big bets, yeah. You see, if someone comes along with, say, a couple of grand and they want to put it on at, say, 33 to 1, well, that's a lot of money to pay out if it comes in. So, thank you, love. So, what they do is they, they, they sort of spread the risk out over several of the bookies. Nobody's likely to bet that much on a dog that's lost form, are they? Oh, they do. I took a couple of hundred off a mug punter just the other night. On Mildura Lass? Yep. Well, do you know the punter in question? I sure do. He's helped to put my kids through uni. Emmy Savage.